Hey everybody, it's Rose Griffin from ABA Speech. If you're just joining me, I'm a speech language pathologist and a board certified behavior analyst. And tonight I wanted to talk about one of my very favorite resources to use with early learners, which is Zingo. In the past couple sessions, we've been talking about the different verbal operants. So we talked about what is a mand, what is a tact, what are intraverbals, what is an echoic, and so I thought we should take a little break from all of that and do a little resource share. I thought that would be nice to break up some of the free content that I've been sharing. Um, like I said, I'm a speech therapist and a board certified behavior analyst, and I like to pop on here and do these Facebook Lives every Tuesday at 9 p.m. to give different information about how to work on communication skills uh, when you're working with students with autism or other complex communication disorders. So if you're new here and you are looking for a speech language pathologist, you could go to ASHA's website, www.asha.org. Or if you're looking for behavioral support, there's also a website where you can find all different BCBAs across the United States and worldwide, which is www.bacb.com. But thanks for being here. So I wanted to touch base really quickly about a game that I love so much. It's called Zingo. So I stole my kid's Zingo board tonight. And why I love it is you can do so many different things with it. A lot of the times I'm talking about modified leisure skills for students with autism and other complex communication disorders. But what's so great about Zingo is that you don't have to have a whole lot of skill set to get started in doing something that's fun. With Zingo, you have a game board. There's a green side and there's a red side. And you just get little pieces from this super awesome Zingo board. And then once you get the piece, you match it to your board. And then when you fill all the pieces up, you win, okay? And so that's Zingo. Why I love it is that there's so many great applications. You could work on a lot of the different verbal operants while you're playing Zingo. So you could work on labeling, tacting, right, train. You could work on it as an echoic. So I say train, you say train. You could work it on it as an intraverbal. What says choo-choo, okay? Or the train says choo-choo. So there's all these different ways that you could work on all those different verbal operands that we've discussed in previous sessions of ABA speech. Other reasons that I love Zingo is that if you're working with a student who is more advanced, they could follow a one-step direction to get Zingo. They could take Zingo out. They could set it all up. And then they could go ask a peer if a peer wants to play Zingo. So sometimes what I've done for students is I've taken a video model of how to set up the game or how to play the game, and then I'll show that to the student before we start working with somebody else, before we bring a peer in. Another thing that's great for Zingo, if you're just tuning in, is sometimes what I've done for leisure skills is taught the leisure skill with a student one-on-one. -on -one. And then once the student's able to do it at criterion or a certain mastery level, then we start generalizing it to a peer. So that's another way to think about how to embed some of these really fun activities um, when you're working with students have so many things to work on at the moment. So with Zingo, you can work on labeling, you can work on intraverbals, you can work on echoics, and you can work on cooperative group behavior. So if you have a mixed group and maybe the students are working on a lot of different things, it really lends itself to labeling, echoics, social language skills, just being part of a group. Um, and I'll put a, um, I'll put a link up as to where you can get Zingo at too. I'm sure that it's, it's for sale on Amazon and Lakeshore and lots of great places, but it's a game that I definitely love to play with my students. Um, if you're just tuning in, I wanted to let you know about the freebie that's coming out in October, October 11. If you've signed up for my email list over at www.avaspeech.org, this month's freebie is going to be a manding strategies checklist. So we talked about manding last week and next week we'll continue our conversation on manding. So requesting and teaching a student that their communication is powerful. So this manding strategies checklist would be something you could put up in your classroom. So if you have a student who's doing manding sessions throughout the day, there'll be pointers and tips to remember when we're working with students um, when they're just acquiring a way to communicate with the world. So I wanted to let you know all about that. I also wanted to show you something that is new on my TPT store. If you are not familiar with TPT, TPT stands for Teachers Pay Teachers. 
and it's an awesome website. There's a lot of free information on there and paid products too. I have a store over there called ABA Speech and I created a product that I thought that you guys might like. So it's called Let's Talk Halloween. And so when I'm working with students, I'm often working with students with my laptop like this, or I'm working with students with the, the smart board. So I'll just plug my computer right into the smart board. And so I created this product because it's seasonal and people like to start, tar, start talking about the holidays around this time of year. So what it is, is it looks at, um, it's kind of a shared reading. It's intraverbals is what we're working on here. So let's talk about Halloween. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but I'll give you a little idea. Um, if you're just tuning in, this is a new product on my TPT store. It's only $2. Um, we picked a pumpkin. And so the student, by them filling in the blank, they're working on a intraverbal, okay? We drew a nose, a mouth, and and then a student. You could take turns with students. You could use this for an individual session. Um, and eyes. At the end, and it goes on like that and talks all about different Halloween things that we see to kind of orient to those students to what's happening around Halloween. And then the last pages, there's one page that has just regular intraverbals that we may say around Halloween, like trick or treat, okay? And we can just verbally say those. And then there's a page that has questions that you could use for students when you're working on social language skills, like, are you gonna dress up this year? Do you like Halloween? If you're just joining me, I'm talking about a product that's in my TPT store called Let's Talk About Halloween. It's only two bucks and it works on intraverbals and then it also works on social questions that have to do with Halloween. So I wanted to let you know all about that. So tonight I wanted to pop on here and share with you Zingo, which is an awesome resource that you can use with students who are working on matching and scanning and cooperative group skills and social language skills. So I'll put a link up for Zingo. And then I also wanted to tell you about my new product called Let's Talk Halloween, which is only two bucks over at my TPT store, which is called ABA Speech. Thanks so much for being here. And don't forget to come to my website, www.abaspeech.org and sign up for an email list so you don't miss anything. Next week, we're gonna continue our conversation all about manding and getting to the nitty gritty of what do we do during manding sessions and what does that mean exactly? So hope you have a great one. See ya.